Hi. We're going to do a little bit. We're going to just warm up a little bit. All we're going to do here is tap side to side, but I want a little bit of a squat. We're just going to warm it up for a little stretching. Going a little fast, I'm going to slow it down. Hold those muscles up, those arms up, core in. A little bit of a squat. We do about five more to each side. Now, what we're going to do is have a little bit of a squat on the right. Come down, kind of like this, just to push that booty back. All we're going to do here is we're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to be balancing. I'm going to do a little bounce. A little one, just on that right leg. Just a little bounce. Now, what we're going to do here is get down a little lower. Out. Warming up the muscles. Hold them up. Hold it out. A few seconds. Working that glute a little bit. Now hold it out. Hold it out. Now we're going to switch. All we're going to do is squat down a little bit on the left. Do a little bit of bounce. But I want you to tighten up that booty in the back. Just a little tapping. Warming our muscles up. Getting us ready. Make sure you're squatting down in that. Push that booty back. Now all we're going to do here is get in that position. Make sure you're secure. Really tighten up those arms. Okay, what we're going to do here is you're going to like, do a little bit of your right foot forward, left foot back. Okay? All you're going to do is you're going to you're warm up your calves. You lift your heels up, alternate heels. Lift it. We're warming up. Really emphasize it. Emphasize. Go slower. Warming it up. Front leg. The right one. A few more. Now we're going to switch sides. So all you're going to do, like I said, is you're warming up. You're going to lift up. My arm goes forward. Opposite arm. So right arm, left heel. Get yourself ready. Here we go. Get a little lean. Get a little bit forward. I'm going to exaggerate this move right here for that front leg. Work in the muscles. Keep moving up. About five more. Okay, now we're going to do a stretch back 
Relax a little bit like this. And we're gonna have your legs out wide and we're gonna lift our arms up over our head and we're gonna go down to the right and come around. And it's a little more challenging on here than um, oh, I watch Keith want me to end my workout because I have too much movement for the yoga. So all we're gonna do is lift your arms up and we're gonna come over slow. Sweep and then go all the way to the left. Get your body over to the left. Slow. Run your fingertips on the mat. And look up. Around. Make sure you turn your body all the way over. It's going to get your core much more. cheated that a little bit just a little bit so what you're gonna do here is so we're going to um, have our hands behind and I want you to really stretch pull your shoulder blades together chest out and we're gonna like this but then you're gonna squat down. Keep holding that. Now I come up and I'm going to tuck. 
Squeeze up. Come down. This way, so you can see. Come up. Keep those hands behind. Now come down. Let's we'll start bending almost right away. Bend it. Hold it up. Bring it through the nose, out through the mouth. Come up. And a few more. pushing my toes into the mat. Three more. Try to get to at least that 90, a little below. Maybe five more. Now, one more. Now that we're up here, I want your legs apart. A little bit. You can hold on to the rim if you would like. But what I'm going to do is start right here. And I'm just going to go side to side without my hands. And then we're going to do some inner thigh stretching and opposite arm. So, I'm going to go a little slower. I tend to do a lot of things fast. I'm a fast paced. Person, type A personality. So it's hard for me to concentrate on doing things slow. I'm going to go slow, five more to each side. Now, all you can do here is I'm going to take my left arm over toward the front. And I'm going to take this same leg and I'm going to squat toward my left and then I'm going to pull with my right arm here. Oh yeah. Come up. I have this arm over a little bit further. That's going to push and pull. So I push away with my right, pull with my left hand, and then um, lunge over. Left. 
stretching your shoulders out. there. Okay, 
now. Um, if you have a bigger rebound like I do, and I'm about 5'6", but if you're a little tall, you can put your feet right onto the rim. So we're going to come into that down dog, push it back, and come forward. I'm not going to come all the way down in a total plank. that my knees are apart because we're going to come back
hold it. Two more, and then hold it. Hold it up. Bring it down. I'm gonna do the other side. We warm up one side at a time. When you start up on your left knee, um, I think that's how I did it. I can't, oh yeah, I had my foot like this. That worked a little bit of the inner thigh too. So we're gonna come down so you're sitting up. Really reach it. I want you to really feel that in your core, your obliques.
Really stretch it. We have three more. Come down. Whew. Now, for a little bit of a finisher, we're gonna, um, the last video I did, I kind of, I did something off the rebounder with squatting. And we're gonna get a little strengthener and a little stretch and we'll be done. You can hold on to your rim. I'm going this way so you can see. So I kind of lean forward a little bit. I'm gonna come up, touch it down. Get closer, doing it on the floor. And you can tell it's a little different on the floor. Much easier because we don't have that unstable surface. Well, gentle. Still strengthening your leg and stretching at the same time. So I hold on and I'm going to tuck 
Oh, blowing shoulder blades apart. Chest out. Oh, back. Yeah, really pull apart. That'd be 40 minutes today.